To get started with the ACOM Bearing Defender, make sure that you have downloaded the free Bearing Defender app from the Apple Store or Google Play. Once you open the app, make sure Wi-Fi is activated. Power on the wireless sensor. Wait about 30 seconds until the red light turns off and the blue light comes on. Next, connect your device to the wireless sensor Wi-Fi. Select the WLS from the list of Wi-Fi connections available. The password is the serial number found on the sensor body. Next, enter your measurement settings. Press the menu icon. And then press the gear icon to go to the setup screen. To ready the app for measurement, modify the default settings as needed and input the relevant information. First, signify if you would like to use metric or imperial. Select your machine RPM. Select your machine power. And select the mount type of your machine, rigid or flex. It is crucial to select the proper settings so that the bearing defender applies the correct thresholds and rules for diagnostics. Next, scroll down to the second half of the measurement screen to the optional advanced settings. It is important to only change the default advanced settings if you know what they are. First, you can select the units that you would like the FFT, Zikstrom, to display, linear or logarithmic scale. Second, you can select the number of axes managed. Third, you can select if you would like the value of the bearing defect factor, DEF, to be displayed. Fourth, you can select if you want high frequency acceleration over 3 kHz, ACC, HF, displayed. Finally, you can select the Wi-Fi channel. Only switch to another Wi-Fi channel if you are in a crowded Wi-Fi environment and feel like the transfer speed is abnormally slow. Once you have chosen your machine settings, exit out of the setup screen. Now that the sensor is ready for data transfer, place it as close as possible to the load zone of the machine. If the load zone is not accessible, place the sensor as close as possible to the bearing. In the Bearing Defender application, the user has an option to take a picture to more easily document the placement of the sensor. To do this, select the camera icon on the main screen, and then take your picture. Next, go back to the measurement screen. Tap the green button to begin taking a live reading. Once in live mode, the user has the option to listen to the bearing noise. This is a powerful tool when listening to the machine from a distance, or even from another room. Now that the Bearing Defender is capturing live data, tap the red Record button on the measurement screen to record the data. It will take about 10 seconds to record and transfer the necessary data. Once the data has been recorded, the results screen will be displayed. Smart indicators will automatically show you the presence of machine faults in all three axes. These faults can include bearing failure, unbalance or misalignment, and others. When reading the diagnosis, remember that green indicates no defects, yellow indicates a medium severity defect, and red indicates a high severity defect. It is important to note that the X, Y, and Z seen on the results screen are not the X, Y, and Z of the machine, but rather indicate the direction of the sensor. To view the Zikstrom, tap on the Zikstrom icon in the bottom right corner of the results screen. The Zikstrom is a combination of the FFTs measured in the X, Y, and Z directions. It is meant to help maintenance workers communicate more effectively with vibration experts to determine if further analysis is required. Once you have the Zikstrom open, you have the option to zoom in to pinpoint the exact RPM in order to save any necessary information. Select a point on the curve. The legend button will display the information about the current cursor, the amplitude, frequency, and the axis in which it was measured. The button on the top right will save the active cursor as the machine RPM. At this point, you can go to the menu and open the bearing database in order to look for your bearing reference. 
select your bearing reference. Then go back to the Zikstrom to display the cursor information. After evaluating your results, if you have found a problem with your machine and want to communicate the diagnosis, you can easily take a screenshot using the shortcut in the main menu of the app. The screenshot feature will save to your photo library on your device and can be shared via email, MMS, or social media. The Bearing Defender app allows you to send both the vibration table and the Zikstrom to a vibration expert so that you can determine whether you need further assistance.